Caddis Maximus here, this time with a quick review of a pretty old, I think this was maybe made in the 90s, maybe through the early 2000s, Radio Shack Micronta 22-164 uh, digital voice readout multimeter. There was an era where there was a variety of talking devices, such as uh, talking calculators, which are always co have been kind of fun. 9 times 9 divided by 6 equals 13.5. This multimeter is the very same thing. However, versus the calculator, which is only so helpful when it, talk, when it talks, a talking multimeter really is a much more usable product. This unit runs on four AA batteries and is only an averaging multimeter, it isn't a true RMS multimeter, but it generally works fine for most purposes, most usages. And really, the voice is not so bad. This was the era where I don't think it generated the voice per se, where it was all the words were pre-recorded as sound files on a little chip. And then it just uses a little algor algorithm to put them all together when it's reading out a voltage. How it works is that you have this special probe. So the positive, this negative probe's the same, the standard unit, but the positive probe has a connection for the probe itself and then uh, what would be a mono headphone jack style connection for the separate button. That way the circuit that's running the operation button, which is just on this really oversized probe, but it's still pretty nice, had a really nice strain relief. Uh, one thing I will say over the many years old that this is, all of the uh, rubber and vinyl has actually held up pretty well and still pretty supple. I even have the original case here and it's actually, it's a vinyl case, but it actually hasn't torn apart or isn't cracking or anything like that. So there were different grades to it. Anyway, you just touch your connection to the tool and then you'd press the little button. DC 61.4 millivolts. And it would read it out and tell you whether it was in millivolts or volts. And the same thing goes for resistance. If we move it over to resistance mode here, it has a pretty easy uh, to operate switch. It takes a second for it to change modes. It's kind of interesting. But all you would do is you just take and touch whatever you wanted to measure the resistance of. 26.9 kilo ohms. That isn't the right value. Let's try that again. 540 kilo ohms. And so in some instances, actually many, it's pretty handy. Since it is a talking multimeter, if you do want to do a basic continuity test, you actually have to switch it over to continuity mode. And then it'll just give you the standard beep. And when you press the button, it kind of makes a click, but doesn't really operate. And then when you've removed it, over. it will attempt to perform a ohm measurement, but it'll tell you that it's over the range. This is pretty handy because it will do up to 30 mega ohms in standard resistance tests and I kind of like that quite a bit. Something that was kind of funny is they have a little speaker icon here and a little grill <laughs> and I think that's for the little beeper for the continuity test but it would it seem to indicate that that's where the voice is coming from but it's actually nowhere even remotely close. The voice is coming out of a larger speaker in the back that way it's actually discernible although it isn't particularly loud. I have a little metal stand with a little a uh, detent that kind of holds it in place, uh, a little boss on the battery cover. One thing I was going to mention inside this is it did have a spare fuse right here. So if you blow out one, you always have a spare just right inside the tool itself. So that was kind of handy. And it only measures milliamps. It won't measure full amps. And then it has a couple of rubberized feet. So really what happens is if you get used to using this thing, and what I found it useful for is in like actually a variety of applications where I've had it around from uh, automotive troubleshooting to working on any kind of machines and equipment and it's actually some, considering what it is a safety tool and I'm actually even still appreciating that now the reason it's such a safety tool is we're going to set it up like this so that you can hear the speaker a little better I have my little MW power supply this is the little battery replacement and testing linear power supply and we're going to go ahead and test it. And what I wanted to point out here is one, so you can just hear it say various voltages. But the second thing is, is if you're probing something, say you're probing this board, but I'm going to have these terminals connected just as a kind of a virtual reference. 
you're not having to touch your probes to some circuit and then look over at the multimeter. You can actually get right on the circuit, keep your eyes on exactly what you're doing. DC 2.988 volts. And you're never taking your eyes off of where the probes are or what they're doing. You're, it makes everything work out better when you're doing uh, resistance measurements or voltage tests. You can keep your eyes on the probes, keep them just perfectly on the connection, and then just press the button and be able to read out any kind of voltages that you need. So you just touch it. DC 4.49 volts. And that's really a, kind of a big deal. There's so many multimeters out there and people use them all the time, but just kind of realizing having a multimeter where you don't have to look at it to get a measurement is actually pretty useful. If you're in any kind of awkward situation or under a car dash or something, it may be impossible. And then you're using the hold feature and the peak feature and those kind of things that pull off your connection once you're done doing your measurement and then look at the meter where this is just instantaneous and even in the if you can get your probes in there in the au most awkward situations you get your information immediately without additional steps and process such as looking at the min max or the peaks and that kind of thing just by getting up under wherever you need to or in an engine bay and pressing the button and I keep changing the voltage just so you can hear. If it was only a little bit louder, it would be even more useful. And I can only imagine if, you know, there were some higher quality units that were made that had uh, a louder speaker. Actually, the voice quality on this is just fine. It really is not too bad at all. Minus DC 30.4 millivolts. So I was always happy with that, that you could actually understand what it was saying. Um, it's just the fact that it's really quiet. And only has basic functionality such as diode check, AC and DC voltage, and DC and AC milliamps. It's only an averaging multimeter. And of course, resistance measurement. The other issue, of course, is it has its own oversized proprietary uh, probe. But it would be neat if I looked around. There's a few other, you know, manufacturers of these. I didn't spend a bunch of times. It looks like there may be a couple of kind of takeoffs of this, but... Uh, they seem to be really rare and esoteric, so I just kind of wanted to bring attention to this unit. If nothing more, then it's kind of uh, neat that it's a talking multimeter, but the fact that versus a talking calculator, a talking multimeter, like when you're in an electrical panel and you have to test something where there may be live circuits, really is a, a safety tool. Really is. For the simple fact, it allows to keep your eyes on what you're doing and where your hands are without having to take them off for a second and for the convenience of not having to deal with the meter later just to get your measurement because you're trying to be careful just to hold the probes in the right spot. Anyway, I haven't done any old Radio Shack stuff in a while, so I kind of wanted to do a review of this Micrata 22-164. I think there's one on eBay when I was making this video, and it was pretty cheap. It was like 20 bucks or something. Anyway... I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed to the Caddis Maximus channel, please do. And I'll mention this also at the beginning of the next video because I forgot that at the beginning of this video. Um, I used to respond to every comment, but uh, there's becoming quite a few comments a day. And so I won't be able to get to every comment anymore. I do put in my efforts to read all the comments and will respond to as many as I can. But it's becoming... Uh, just a few too, com few too many comments to ensure that I really can respond to all of them. So I kind of just want to set those expectations. Anyway, I re re once again, I appreciate everybody who views. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.